Hello everybody, here's Mr. C. This is a short demo how to graph the data from Lab 209 uh, for the extra credit using logarithmic axes. Uh, it's definitely something more advanced, so it's extra credit, it's purely optional, but uh, for some of you it might be the first time you graph something like that, and um, I want to give you the opportunity to do that. So here's when we look at the normal data, where on the y-axis I have the elevation, and on the x-axis I have the distance. Uh, I didn't make it nice, didn't add the labels, but that's how I showed you in the previous uh, recording. The thing that to point out here is most of the space of the graph is empty. There's nothing there. The, the data is really squished to the left and to the bottom, and we also see why that's the case, because at very short distances between the first 500 kilometers, most of the data is like between uh, maybe 50 um, meters and 4,300 meters, right? Uh, but then the data after that is pretty, uh, shows pretty low heights of these volcanoes, so it looks everything is squished down uh, like that. And if that's the case, we want to change the y axis to logarithms. Now we can do that and uh, Excel will take care of um, one problem we're going to have with logarithms that is the zeros. Uh, there is not just a thing as the logarithm of a zero. Uh, I'd like to uh, do it more cleanly and eliminate this problem from the beginning. So uh, you sh what you should do, what I ask you to do is go in here and basically delete the data points that have zeros there. Um, that's something not all programs provide and so you should just get in there and delete the zeros and then we're going to select the data again this time I use my keyboard it's just selecting the data set we're going to say insert again uh, same as before scatter plot it there and at first it looks like the same we lost some data points on the right hand side they were all zero they're basically at um, at sea level um, Let's change it now to logarithmic. We click on the y-axis and we scroll down there. And we have a chance to say logarithmic scale and we use the base 10 always. Okay, there's not, not uh, no need to change that. And if we look at it now, uh, we'll see it seems to follow a linear trend on a logarithmic scale. Let me talk about the y-axis here. We can turn on the labels and I'll let you do that, right? The y-axis is the elevation, but as you notice, going from each line to the next line on the y-axis, every time you do that, you multiply by 10. You don't go up by 10, it would be 10, 20, 30, you go times 10. So 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100, I think you get the point. You would change this, of course, to elevation, you would change the x-axis to distance. Um, so that's cool, and we can change the title. I want to tell you that if you do something like a logarithm there, oh, I fell off this side of the earth, I scrolled to the far, I wanted just to select everything, probably safer to just use the tab here, you're going to write, uh, you start out by saying log, log of elevation versus distance uh, from uh, kilowatt, okay, so now we know it's a logarithmic graph. Uh, I also want you to uh, show me the equation here and that's really really powerful it would take you a long long time to do this by hand and it's just a bunch of clicks on Excel so you're gonna select the data make sure you select all of it don't double click and you select just one point you would edit just that single one point if you select it everything is like most of the data points are highlighted you do a right click and then you say add trend line and we're not selecting linear here, obviously look how that graph would look like. We're selecting exponential. And I want you also to select this display equation on chart. And uh, we'll, let, we'll let that go. So now it should show us the equation on chart. If I selected it right, I didn't press enter. So I'll do it again. Oh no, it for my trend line. And display equation on chart. I'm puzzled that it, oh, it shows it at down here, okay. <laughs> See this tricky thing? So now, um, this is the equation. So if you give me an x value, it's a bit small, so we can make that a bit bigger um, font. And instead of 9, uh, let's go to, I don't 
nice big number 14 so that makes it bigger so if you give me um, a distance like 2000 kilometers and I plunge it in this equation it will tell me the height of the volcano pretty useful stuff or I, I hope you agree so so that's a pretty good model that's what we call modeling things uh, the X is moved up here to 1 that's okay but uh, you might want to do one more nice thing there's this 0 0.003 it's kind of uh, annoying that we don't see more decimal places I think if we double click on it then the number comes up here and you can change the format if you click go to number here and maybe we want to select as, oh sorry we don't want to select a number we go to scientific notation maybe two decimal places are okay it's a bit squished but now we know the E stands for 10 to the power right 1.45 10 to the power 3 and then it's negative 2.55 10 to the power negative 3 times x and the e is the um, 2.71 number you can use that equation pretty uh, good take that uh, put it in your um, lab report as extra credit of course I want you to change the titles here and explain to me a little bit what we did here and uh, how you can use that model to uh, make useful predictions about the elevation and I hope um, that's beneficial to you and um, I'll be glad to give you feedback and you have a chance to resubmit it if you want to um, congratulations you did your first logarithmic graph in Excel probably thank you for watching and um, let me know if you have any questions